Right over the last 52 years on Broad Street Southwest in downtown Atlanta, I've seen a lot of changes. Uh, some good, not some not so good. The city has implemented different plans like Government Walk that destroyed retail and replaced it with government buildings, which hurt uh, the downtown business community. MARTA also had a bad impact on a lot of the south area of south of Marietta Street uh, by taking people off the street and letting them transfer in the tunnels. So those were a few negative things. Right now we see a lot of positive things happening with the new dome, uh, but the main emphasis for Broad Street is the redoing of Underground Atlanta by placing it in the hands of individual companies and Newport coming in to develop the area. I think they'll bring in a lot of housing, uh, a lot of millennials who will want to make downtown a clean, viable place to live. I think the millennials will be able to keep in contact with the government to make sure that things move in a positive way so that uh, downtown can start having a high density of different levels of education and financial residents. Uh, I think it will finally work as long as the city stays out of the way and doesn't get too restrictive or too overbearing and drive the other businesses that are still here away. So this is a picture of Broad Street in the 60s and 70s where you see there's lots of traffic, two-way traffic. The streets were crowded with uh, people walking up and down the street. This is a picture of the store when Marta was building the ditch between Broad Street. Uh, we were closed for months and then we were boarded over because they were dynamiting. So we lost a lot of business then. Uh, going back in history a little bit further, you can see that Broad Street, the broadest street in the city of Atlanta, was uh, a major uh, place to be for World War I veterans coming back from the war. So Broad Street has a lot of history. This building was built in 1895 for the Cotton State Exposition. <laughs> and uh, it was built as a hotel over the years. It's been four or five different things chronicling the uh, city of Atlanta.